They say everyone wears rose-colored glasses when they're in love, which can make it difficult to spot ongoing problems. Now, according to statistics, over 33% of marriages end in divorce, and the adultery rate among couples is 50%. You still have the chance to lead to slaughter an unhealthy relationship with these signs. Manners on the go. Now, according to statistics, over 33% of marriages end in divorce, and the adultery rate among couples is 50%. What is the cause of this? After all, most, if not all, the couples were once much in love. Could it be that they didn't watch out for the signs, or their minds were clouded by love, or they just couldn't come to an agreement with their instincts? They say everyone wears rose-colored glasses when they're in love, which can make it difficult to spot ongoing problems. Whichever it is, you still have the chance to lead to slaughter an unhealthy relationship with these signs. Number one, when they don't see you as a priority. Hello dear, do you find yourself doing all the calling, texting and chatting, looking forward to a special date or remembering the special days? Mm. You don't have to give your answer right away. Think about it. No one is too busy for the ones they truly love. If you matter, they'll shove other things till later. If you find yourself doing all these without your effort being reciprocated, consider the relationship slaughter bound. Both of you need to come with your 100%. Number two, if your partner still lives on old baggage, then you are most likely cutting yourself. If you notice they're not over their exes or still checking now and then, you may as well consider yourself as a rebound and not someone they're willing to give their all to. Number three, they keep giving the I'm not ready vibe. When the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. Why commit to a romantic relationship without the mindset of getting married? You should watch out for the I'm not ready vibes. Like when you mention the word marriage and they're quick to change the subject. Or give an excuse every time you ask them to accompany you to a friend's or family's wedding occasion. These signs, as little as they may seem, shouldn't go unnoticed. Number four. Your instincts keep giving him or her away. If you are the type who trusts in your instinct, or one who is particularly close with the Holy Spirit, and you strongly sense that being in a relationship just doesn't feel right, you may want to consider letting go and taking a break for clarity so that your mind can be at peace with itself. Number five, your relationship should be slaughter bound if your partner is financially unaccountable. If your partner isn't financially accountable, this could become a big problem in your marital relationship. Being prudent is a virtue. It will save you a whole lot of headaches. Also, if you find out that your partner is not getting their finances together and you've become the sole financier or they have an extravagant lifestyle, then you should cut the relationship now that you can. Number six, he or she has refused to grow up. Dating someone who still runs to mama at every claim or someone without an independent mindset should be crossed out from your list. Simple. If they don't see the need to learn what it takes to become better as an individual, like being under or listening to a mentor, reading relevant books or making deliberate attempts in the quest of knowledge, then there aren't man or woman enough to take up the relationship of another individual. Please let them go when your partner has the habit of being inconsistent in the context of not keeping to time and their words without a reasonable reason. You should regard the relationship as slaughter bound. You don't want to spend the rest of your life healing from broken promises if they have a trait of narcissism in them. A narcissist partner sees him or herself as superior and is full of themselves. They seek constant praise and validation and expect you to give the reverence. Well done, sir. Well done, ma. A partner as such lacks empathy and you can easily lose yourself in a relationship with them because you realize in the long run that you are no longer living for yourself, but for them. I may need to talk more about this in a whole new video sometime. If your partner is a chronic flirt, please, Stay clear. It's a red flag when someone has the mentality of not putting all their eggs in one basket. To think that it has become a norm in most relationships these days. A person with such a view of relationship defeats all that an altar-bound partner is. Please run. If your partner is abusive, 
You see, there is a misconception by a lot of people that if they are not a victim of physical violence, then they are not truly victims of abuse. Abuse could be physical, mental or emotional. If you ever catch yourself wondering, is my partner abusive? Consider it as your first hint that something isn't quite right and then dig further. If your would-be spouse is abusive, please divorce yourself from the relationship before it takes a trip to the court to do so. Finally, your relationship should be slaughter-bound if your partner is untruthful. If he or she lies ever so easily, she shouldn't think it twice before cutting them off, especially when the truth seems pretty obvious. Yes, they choose to deny it to your face. At this point, you should most certainly take to your heels. I hope you find these nuggets useful and enlightening. A broken engagement, they say, is better than a broken marriage. I'll say this again. You don't want to spend the rest of your life healing from broken promises. If you found this video useful, please share it with your friends and kindly engage me in the comment section. I'd like to know if there's a trait I didn't mention that you'd want us to talk about. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your week. Goodbye. Manners on the go.